Hi guys, I found this uh, vintage sharp estimate calculator at the flea market for half an, uh, an euro. And as it was quite dirty, I decided to take it apart to clean it. And it happens you can completely take it apart to the last part and reassemble it with not any damage. So here is the front, uh, front uh, cover. Top cover. First there is this uh, aluminium mesh for the keyboard. It clips in place like so. So I did not do a tear down, I'm doing a reassembly instead. There are these uh, rubber materials for making the contacts in the for the keyboard uh, contacts layer, so I have to put them in place like so. Here is the keyboard uh, gummy keypad, cleaned also, of course. Now I have put this silver contacts uh, keyboard uh, clips. Now I have, um, this is the uh, filter for the LCD. I still have a little drop of water here at the corner, I see. Could be good enough. If so, okay, so. This uh, must come like this, I believe not sure if it is, uh, this must be the outside, okay. We have the battery contacts. So first one here. Everything can be removed, it is quite impressive. We have the second one. That if I remember correctly, yes, it was the other side the interconnect for the two batteries. Okay, then the most important thing, of course, the electronics. Here is the display. There is a chip on board here mounted onto a little piece of uh, flex circuit which is soldered on the PCB. You see this setup mostly in uh, Soviet calculators. So, probably they did copy it from a uh, Japanese de design. It is uh, early 80s, this one, it seems. Apart from that, you just have one capacitor and nothing else. So, it goes like so. And when you put this PCB, it makes the contact with the uh, battery contacts. Then we have a quite a sturdy metal plate here, quite strong, and we have to put a bunch of screws to keep it in place. So we have two tiny screws for the keyboard area, and we have several bigger ones for the Keyboard contacts here first, and uh, battery contacts at the top. So it came with the original batteries. They are still somewhat working, a little weak, but working. But I will put a new, uh, fresh batteries anyways. M m the old batteries are keepers because they are museum pieces. Look at this guys, original sharp batteries with 1980 dead code. Instead I will put this ones and we will know immediately if it works or not. Yes, it is working of course.
Nice, nice uh, contrast with this uh, LCD. And uh, I'm just uh, missing the back cover with a serial number sticker. Like so. It is quite surprising you have uh, double A uh, cells in this calculator. I did expect uh, smaller ones, but it felt that it did use all the possible space to fit uh, the cells. But it must give it a very, very long uh, battery uh, life. Because, of course, obviously it is an uh, original battery, so they were never replaced. And for half an euro with the box also. Not in the best condition, but still the box. I will not complain. Not sure uh, how rare these uh, ones are, but as we all love calculators. So here we are. It is uh, all back together and looks mostly like a brand new one, which is quite incredible. So, here is one more calculator for my collection. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.